What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a favorite Pokemon of mine on the Regulation E ladder. We got ourselves a Technician and Silk Scarf Ambi Palm team for you guys today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was created by Pokesports and Pokesports Discord community. So huge shout out to them. We'll be leaving a link down in the description below to their channel. So if you guys want to go check out this team a little bit more or get the Poke pace for a channel, head over to Pokesports' YouTube channel. Like I said, link is going to be down in the description below. But our first Pokemon that we are going to be using today is going to be Okie Dokie. And this is my favorite moveset for any Okie Dokie. It's got Guard Dog with leftovers. And then Rocking Poison Jab, Drain Punch, Bulk Up and Protect. It just works so well and everything is perfect with this Pokemon. We got Klefki in our second slot. And I absolutely love Klefki, especially Prankster and Light Clay Klefki. It's got Reflect, Light Screen, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect, making everybody around him on the team super bulky with those screens. In our third slot, we got the one and only Ambipom. Like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, that this is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Just love its design and love everything about it. It's got Technician as its ability with a Silk Scarf as item to boost normal type moves. And it's got Fake Out, Protect, and Last Resort. If you guys do not know what Last Resort does, it is a base 140 move, but you can only use it if you have used all your other moves. So that's why we don't have a fourth move and we have Fake Out and Protect. So turn one we're obviously going to use our fake out then we're just going to protect and then we will be able to use last resort which like i said is a base 140 move doing some crazy damage with any pump and that silk scarf so super excited to be using that pokemon we got ogre pond in our fourth slot with mold breaker and the hearth flame mask ivy cudgel horn leech stomp and catch him and spiky shield in our fifth slot we got our support pokemon we got Torna tornadus with the prankster and the cover cloak and tailwind sunny day bleak wind storm and protect great move set for any tornadus in our final slot, we got another brand new Pokemon that was released in the Teal Mask DLC. It is Pheasantipity. Toxic Chain and Loaded Dice as its item with Tail Slap, Protect, Icy Wind, and U-Turn. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Regulation E ladder and look to showcase Last Resort and the Palm. Hopping into our first match, and we're going up against an Indeedee and Armourouge team. They have Indeedee, Armourouge to pop Trick Room, plus they pair up super well together. And they're also rocking out with Iron Hands to pair up with that Trick Room squad. Other three Pokemon that they have is going to be Fluttermane, and then Ogre Pond, and then Shen Pao. So how should I play this one? Who should I go into? Um, I would say I want to go in the Ambipom, but the only problem with going in the Ambipom here is if they lead the psychic terrain then we can't use fake out then we can't use last resort it's kind of like we shouldn't do that so i'm not going to be doing it here in match number one maybe we'll use it in match number two hopefully we we'll use it in match number two but i'm going to leave my boy klefki set up screens get everything cooking for the squad and in the back end we're going to go in with okie dokie maybe try to set up some bulk ups while it's at has the screens and then go ogre pond and pheasant Dippity. right everything cool with that yeah i like pheasant Dippity. you got icy wind you got u-turn Nice little Pokemon. Nice, lovely little Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Maybe I should have brought Ambipom in the back end, but again, like Psychic Train, if it's out there, I'm just I'm just not dealing with it. And I can't use my fake out. And it just ruins everything. It really does. So we'll see who they want to lead here. If I had to guess, Armouge and Didi is probably the best lead. Maybe they don't. <clears throat> so they end up going. Armourouge and Didi. So good call for me, not going into Ambipom. We end up going into Okie Dokie alongside with Clefty. Now I'm going to set up the light screen here, no problem. I am going to bulk up and I might even terrestrialize my Okie Dokie because he is part poison type and he is fighting. So psychic moves are four times super effective. It's time to change typings. We're definitely changing typings. And hopefully we have a good tarot because I actually did it. Check. Fairy. Beautiful. I'll take that. I like that. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to set up the lovely little light screen. I am going to go into a beautiful Terra, and I'm just going to bulk up here. I'm just going to run a nice, lovely bulk up. Get that attack boost, get that defense boost. I wish these guys were physical attacking, but I, it's fine. Let me ter Terra, because I'm not dealing with it. I really am not. We're not dealing with the expanding force that's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. <clears throat> but we do have Light Screen coming out here, which is big time for us. The answer doesn't follow me. That's totally fine. So you can waste a turn with Indeedee. Are you going to pop a Trick Room? That's the real question. That is the real question. We're kind of hoping they pop a Trick Room, right? Just so they don't attack my Okie Dogie. 
And I get this beautiful bulk up up. So we got Light Chain set up. Defense boost, attack boost, and Armor Cannon's gonna come out here. So he's going to try to take out Clefki. And Clefki, can you soak this? You can. Thank you, Light Chain. Thank you, Light Chain. We love you, Light Chain. We absolutely adore you. So from here, I might as well set this reflect, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And then I could just go into a drain punch if I really want to and go into the uh, in the slot. Or would I rather just go poison jab into armors? Yeah, I'm going to go poison jab into armors. I think that's a good play for me. The hopping hand is now going to come out here. That's looking a tad bit scary because we know expanded force is probably popping out here. And we get off this reflect before Klefki does die out here. So we got both our screens up. Then like late, we get a bunch of turns out of it as well. And Poison Jab's gonna fly here, doing some big time damage onto Armour. Out comes Expanding Force, which is totally fine. Okie dokie's gonna be able to soak. And we'll go from there. So Klefki dies out, it gets his screens off. We love it. We love it so much. And now it's time to bring out Ogre Pond. So I'm gonna bring out the Ogre Pond. I'm going to look to just whip up some big time damage into... Hmm. I was gonna say into a DD. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to Drain Punch here. Definitely Drain Punch. By far, I got Drain Punch. We're definitely going to Drain Punch here. So from here, I'm just going to try to KO you with Stopping Tantrum. If I can, because he might just Helping Hand or Follow Me could come out here. And then I'm just going to go Drain Punch in, into Indeedy, just so we get some HP back. But I could definitely see like a Follow Me come out here alongside with a, uh, with a Trick Room. I honestly wouldn't be surprised to see that. But I will be able to train punch beforehand, which is good. And indeed he protects? That's wild. That's a wild protect. But good thing Ogre Pond is targeting down uh, Arm Rouge. So that works out perfectly. So we just get rid of him and we get a, pretty much a full turn. But not a bad start here. Terrain's almost over. Now I kind of wish we brought Ambipom in the back end, right? Ambipom's just such a good Pokemon. Like, we wasted out a lot of these swing turns. So having Ambipom in the back end would have been perfect. It would have been lovely. It would have been gorgeous. We would have loved it. We would have loved it. But I wonder who they're going to bring out here. Definitely not going to be Iron Hands. Actually, could be Iron Hands. I just doubt it, though. It is Iron Hands. Okay, so Iron Hands can't fake me out right here, which big time for us. And from here, I'm just going to go Ivy Cudgel into you. And I'm just going to, on top of that, I'm just going to Drain Punch. I got the I got the Defense Bolt. I'm going to double down it in DD and just look at it. Follow me comes out here anyway. That's totally fine. I'm cool with it. I like her typing. Unless if you have Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam could be a little bit of an issue for us, right? Ivy Cudgel doing half. Can Drain Punch finish? I believe so, right? Yeah, we have the attack boost. And we get back a nice chunk of HP here. So I'm hoping Iron Hands does not have Heavy Slam. But I have a feeling it does, right? I have a feeling it has Heavy Slam, right? Of course you got Heavy Slam. Can you soak? You can all day. Thank you, Reflect. Thank you, Reflect. And thank you for your weight being a bogey doogie. Heavy Slams on Iron Hands are really just there to KO Flutter Mains because it's such a lightweight. And that, that, and that uh, moves damage is based off of weight. But they're going to throw out their final Pokemon. And it's going to be Shen Pao. And now this is where we see a little bit of a problem, right? Shen Pao out here is definitely a problem. And I think I might spike his shield here. I have Fess and Dippy as my last resort Pokemon. I like Okie Dokie with that defense boost. And I might just go... They didn't Terrasilize yet, did they? They didn't, so they could Terrasilize here, which is probably what Shen Pao is going to do. Chances are Shen Pao is going to spike each other, so you know what? Or uh, Terrasilize. So I'm just going to Drain Punch into Iron Hands. And that works out fine, too. That works out fine too. I just think Shen Pao has Ghost Terra. So I'd rather just stay away from that until he terrestrializes. The Dream Punch flies here. Does half damage to him. And Bulk of Okie Dogie, like I said, is my favorite move so far. It's just so bulky at all times. It's beautiful. Hopefully Iron Hands goes after Ogre Pond. I know he's going to stick with the Heavy Slams into the Okie Dogie, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. I am indeed cool with that. But out goes the terrain. He can sucker punch me now. And I think I'm just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into the slot. And on top of that, just protect you, right? Just to get some leftovers HP. Plus, you never know. He could be doubling down. Maybe I should double down on the Shen Pao here. Probably would have been a better call to actually double down on the Shen Pao. 
Yeah, because I was going to say, Ice Spinner's probably going after you. Which I'm soaking, yo. Reflex from Klefki are just beautiful. They're just gorgeous. Ivy Cudgel brings down to Sash. We get a crit. It's beautiful. And Heavy Slam should be staying into the Okie Dokie slot, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to Spiky Shield and I'm just going to Drain Punch. And that works perfectly. I think it works perfectly. Yeah, everything worked out really well here. Thank the Lord I did not lead the Amy Bomb. But we're going to Spiky Shield just in case Shen Pao wants to hit us. We can actually pick up the KO with the Spiky Shield. And a Drain Punch should be able to do enough to finish off this Iron Hands. But again, yeah, we played this one really perfectly. We predicted the lead. Everything was fine. And he ends up protecting Shen Pao. So, yeah, we're chilling. We're totally chilling. This match, first match, way too easy. I really wanted to use Amy Pom, but like like you guys know, the Psychic Terrain was just a lot of fun. Drain Punch comes out here, it finishes off Iron Hands, and this is just wraps. It is just wraps, yeah. Okie dokie, alongside with like Grimmsnarl or somebody who can set up screens like Clef Beat region today, is very powerful because you just set up the screens, it's naturally bulky already, and then you just use bulk up, get that defense boost, get that attack boost, and then just start spamming Drain Punches. You get HP recovery from that, and on top of that, they usually hold leftovers like ours has here, and it's just a constant stream of HP. But from here, we'll IV Cudgel, we will go into a Drain Punch, and they end up just canceling battle. Second match coming at you guys, and I see no Psychic Terrain, which means I'm going in with the Ami Palm. We're going to try to showcase it here in match number one. They also have Sableye, who can also fake out. Then on top of it, they got the Sun combo with Chlorophyll Jump Bluff. So they got Jump Bluff, they got Chiyu. We're definitely rocking out with the Ami Palm here. So I'm going to lead the Ami Palm. I might go in the Pheasant Dippity here. I like the speed control here. I like the typing. Yeah, that works out really well. So I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to go into you. I go into you. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta bring him. He's the man. Ogre Pond's the man. With Mole Breaker, we like it a lot. So I'm gonna go these three. And then final Pokemon, Okie Dogie. Like you guys seen, very bulky Pokemon. I would love to just have it as a back-end Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's do it. Um, I definitely see him probably leading Sun. Right? And if they lead Sun, we're just gonna fake out turn one. Use that move up. And then just protect Ambipom. And then just kind of go from there. Because I would love to just start ripping Last Resorts. But the problem is, if they lead the Sun and they lead the Jump Bluff, it's got chlorophyll. It's double in speed, and that Pokemon loves to put Pokemon to sleep. So we're gonna try. We're just gonna try to get after it that way. But they end up going Jump Bluff alongside with Chief, which I don't mind. Best and Dippy is gonna come out here alongside with Ambi Palm, and I think from here, I think from here we just fake out. Who do we fake out? Chiu could hard swap. Very likely that does. So I'm gonna fake out the Jump Bluff, and I'm just gonna Icy Wind here. I'm just going to Ice Wind just for a bit more of speed control, and we'll get after it that way. Plus, a lot of use terror types is Ghost, so I don't want to fake out into that slot and just have him Terrasalize into Ghost type. The Fake Out comes out here. We get the big time claps. He's, look how much damage Fake Out is doing. Fake Out does an insane amount of damage due to the uh, it being Technician boosted, and on top of that, it is, uh, it's, uh, what is it? What's that boost called? Can't even think of it. Silk Scarf boost. So you get a crazy damage boost. And it's stab. And it's stab. So Technician makes any move under a certain amount go up to base 60. So Fake Out is now base 60 when it should be base 40. And then with the Silk Scarf boost, with the stab boost, it's just a massive amount of damage. But from here, we are just going to simply protect our Ambipom. And I think we also U-turn out of here and swap into maybe like a Pokemon like Ogre Pond, Which could be solid. Yeah, I'm down for that. So yeah. I'm just going to U-turn out of here. Save my Pheasant Dipty for later. Or I can just start Tail Slapping. With the Loaded Dice. Just to try to get a Poison on Chiyu. Actually, you know what? We're just going to Icy Wind again. I'm just going to slow down and try to KO the Jump Bluff at the same time. Yeah, I don't mind if Pheasant Dipty goes down at that point. So I protect Ambipom using my last move. I'm ready to use last resort. And you're still outspeeding me, which really sucks. I should have just swapped. should have just did a hard swap. But even if I would have went for a U-turn, I would have died out. So now we're sitting here, it's trying to put me to sleep. It is minus one, and I gotta go into a faster Pokemon, such as Ogre Pond. So I'm gonna bring out Ogre Pond here. And we're gonna look to get after it. So now I'm actually just going to Terrasalize you, just so I get the normal Terror Boost, and I'm gonna try to take out Chiyu. I'm gonna go after Chiyu, and I'm just gonna IV Cudgel the Jump Bluff. And we'll go from there. We're just really hoping they don't swap in a Torkoal because it's just a big time problem. 
the speed would be a problem because if he swaps into Torkoal, you're going to withdraw Jump Bluff, which I don't mind. Is that going to be Torkoal? It's going to be Moltres. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I was going to say, if you swap the Chiyu into, into Torkoal, then that'll make Jump Bluff probably faster than my Ambipom and you could probably put to sleep. But I believe Ambipom should be faster than Chiyu. Unless it's Choice. But if it is Choice, we should still be able to circle some shots. So I get that beautiful Terra going. Last Resort comes out here. And we can say bye bye to Chiyu, no problem. Base 140, Stab. And on top of that, we got a uh, Terra type boost, Silk Scarf boost. It's going crazy. It's doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Ivy Cudgel comes out here doing a ridiculous amount of damage. We love it. Love it. We, lo we love it. So now I can spam Last Resorts, which is definitely an option. And they're going to go into Save by here. That's a little bit of a problem. So that's a tad bit of a problem. So I'm definitely going to go Last Resort into this slot. And do I Spiky Shield here or do I just like Horn Leech? I could Hard Swap. Which is probably going to try to fake me out, right? You know, I'm going to attack because I, I really don't want to get Encore into a move. We'll just go Ivy Cudgel in this slot. But he's going to end up disabling that move. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. Last Resort is disabled. Saved by such a beast. And Air Slash can fly through it, which we survive on. We survive on six. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sign. And we get a crit. Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's actually massive because now I can hard swap my Ambipom because Last Resort is disabled right now and now I have to hard swap it. And we'll go from there. We'll just go from there. Jump Bluff comes out here. Jump Bluff is faster now. Kind of annoying. And we have to swap Ambipom. So I swap Ambipom. I go into Okie Dokie. And I'm just going to Spiky Shield here. I'm just going to pop a nice little Spiky Shield. Shield up. But yo, Ogre Pond surviving on 6. Massive double. Massive, massive W. But one thing I probably shouldn't have done was Terrasalize Amy Pom. Last Resort was probably KO and Chiyu without the Terra. And I probably should have saved it for a Pokemon like Okie Dokie here or something. Because it, it, this flying type Pokemon really doing me down. It really is. So we end up with Terrasalize. Gonna be the Moltres. Into a beautiful Dark. Let me get some Dark Terra cooking. And Spike Shield comes out from Ogre Pond. They might be putting Okie Dokie to sleep. I can definitely see that happening. Tailwind comes out with speed. I mean, you already had speed. I don't think it really mattered. And Fire of going to come out here. Who's dodging it? Oh no, I'm Spiky Shielding up. Spiky Shielding up. Now comes Fire Wrath. That is scary. And we're going to be able to. Cool. So they have speed already, and I think now is going to be a perfect time to just double down on somebody. Probably Moltres, right? Actually, I should probably protect you at this point. I'm going to protect you, and if I can get off an Ivy Cudgel, I'm going to try to get it off. The reason I'm protecting is because I want to bring out Ambipom alongside somebody so I can fake out protect. Kind of go from there. So he ends up going for a sleep pattern, and that's a big dodge. That's a big time dodge. And who are you going after? You're going for another Fire Wrath. Fire Wrath is doing me dirty. It's ripping. It's ripping. So now I get to bring out Amy Pop. And I get the fake out KO. If I land a fake out on one of these guys, the other one's dead. The other one is going to die out to me. So do they potentially double protect? Maybe, right? Do I KO the Jump Bluff or do I KO the Moltres? Jump Bluff can put me to sleep, but Moltres is a, Moltres is a heavy hitter. So I'm going to fake out the Moltres. Plus, I, there's a chance that Moltres doesn't have Protect. There's a chance that it's rocking like Air Slash. Um, actually, maybe Protect. I'm trying to think of the moves that I usually use with it. I'm still going to fake out the Moltres. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out the Moltres. Don't protect Moltres. Don't do me dirty. Let's go. Let's go. So big time fake out comes out here. This should KO. Yeah, it does an insane amount of damage, and we get rid of Moltres. Love this Ambipom. Love this Ambipom. This Ambipom's crazy strong. 
Like I said, Fake Out does so much damage too, you guys seen it already. And he ends up putting my AoE problem to sleep, so that works out perfectly. The big time Fake Out into the Moltres, getting rid of it, and... Poison Jab should come across here and finish off this battle. So we're 2 0. We just showcased Amy Palm. He's hitting like a truck with Last Resort and with Fake Out. Final battle on its way, and I think it's time to set up the Fake Out again. I think it's time. Let's bring out the Amy Palm yet again here in match number three and look for that perfect record. But this time, I'm actually going to pair it up with Tornadus because I feel as if I get Last Resort going, I would want Tailwind and I would want some sort of speed control. So either Tornadus or Fezzidipity would be the play. And in this, in my opinion, I think we should go in with Tornadus considering they have a snow type Pokemon with, uh, what is that? What's that Pokemon saying? Oh, a low on nine tails. And I could just change up weather from there if they're trying to get off of a war bell. So obviously I want to bring an Ogre Pond in the back end, then either Fezzendipity or Okie Dokie. And I think Okie Dokie is going to be a little bit better. We got the Poison move that will be super effective onto the Rillaboom. We have the Drain Punch that will be super effective onto the Heatran. I like it all around. Plus, he has been doing amazing today. Like I said, this move set with Okie Dokie, top tier. It is top tier. So we're going to lock in this team. Let's use Amy Palm a little bit more here. And Crab is a perfect record. But yo, I love Amy Palm. It's so much fun. A lot of times, or I should say, I use it in Brilliant Diamond and uh, Shiny Pearl. I did some competitive battles for that game. That was actually a lot of fun. And I used to use Ambipomp with Technician, Fake Out, Double Slap. Because Double Slap gets the Technician boost and then Silk Scarf on top of that. And you would just absolutely rip up into Pokemon. But he ends up leading these two. And I think Faking Out the Okie Dokie is going to be our first play. And on top of that, probably just pop in a sunny day, right? Just changing up this weather. We're not dealing with the snow. I got the Amy Pomp ready to rock out here. Some of the Nine Tails are either Light Clay or Clover Cloak. So I'm just going to fake out the Okie Dokie and do that much amount of damage with Fake Out. It's beautiful. And we're going to hope he's going for a War Bell here too. Or maybe a Blizzard that's going to miss or something like that. And yeah, there's a War Bell. So a perfect turn for us. We love it. A big time turn for us. Okie Dokie's going to flinch. And from here, I think I just set up Tailwind and then I just protect Amy Pomp so I can start spamming Last Resorts. Yeah, protect the Amy Palm, set up the tail in this turn, and we'll go from there. So I can see him potentially hard swapping Nine Tails. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Nine Tails is gone, and we're just chilling here. And we're hoping he's probably going for a Drain Punch into my Amy Palm. E Trans now gonna come out of here. We get off this big time protect, and we get off Tim. He lovely little Tim. Okie dokie actually protects you. So this is perfect. These are some money turns for us. These are some real money turns for us. So we get the Protect off. Last Resort is ready to roll. It is ready to roll. And I believe they don't have any Ghost-type Pokemon. So they can't swap into a Ghost-type Pokemon and dodge this Last Resort. The real question is, do I Terrasilize? Probably not. I think I just go into Last Resort into that slot. And I just go for a Blink Wind Storm. And honestly, I'm scared. I'm terrified of Heatran. Heatran might KO me. Get a double KO. Let's resort, bringing this thing down to one. And can we land on the uh, Okie Dokie? We do. So we land on the Okie Dokie, but Heat Wave is terrifying. Heat Wave is definitely going to KO my Ambi Palm. I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't, but it definitely is, right? Ambi Palm. The best. The GOAT. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Big time eat up. He changes weather back, which I don't mind. I can always change weather again, but I'm going to opt to not to. I'm just going to attack now. I'm just going to go for another last resort, and I'm just going to go for a Bleak Resort. That's going to be the play. So attacking again with last resort, doing an insane amount of damage with Amy Palm, and Bleak Resort is going to come across and finish off the Nine Tails. It's beautiful. Can we get a speed drop on the Heat Train? We don't. I'm not really too worried about the Heat Train. I got some good back end Pokemon to clean that up, and Heat Wave's going to fly here, and who's dodging it? Amy Palm with the dodge! We love it. We get Amy Palm for another turn. A massive number. A beautiful, lovely another turn. And I might double down the heat train here. I have Mole Breaker. I can actually hit that thing with Ogre Pond, but... You know what? I'm just going to go into Okie Dokie. If he Terrasilize Heat Train, he Terrasilize Heat Train. He's just going to go into Lander. So I might, I might just Terrasilize my Amy Palm at this point. I got Guard Dog too. Oh my god. Everything's perfect. Yeah, I'm going to Terrasilize you here, and I'm just going to go for a Last Resort. We got speed. I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch here and try to take out the Heat Chan. But I can see your opponent canceling this battle. Ambi Palm is ridiculously strong. I'm loving using Ambi Palm. It's so much fun. It's so much fun when you use an off meta Pokemon and you dominate with it. And that's just exactly what we're doing today. So I'm going to Terrasilize Ambi Palm. I know we're minus one on the attack stat, but, but 
this boost should help it out and probably should be able to KO Landers after I get this uh, Terror Boost. Is this a base 140 move? It's Stab plus the Terror Boost. It's just a lot of damage here. The so last resort cooking. Can this KO the Lando? It does not. It's still a huge chunk of damage. Drain Punch flies through here with an attack boost. And that's going to be game set match. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's way too easy. EQs might be flying here. Then he goes for Stop Potential, but Amy Palm, they give him another turn. I'm soaking. I'm soaking all day. Come on, man. That's too easy. It's way too easy. So I think Tailwind actually ends, and that could be good for them, because if they have EQ, you he can really do me dirty. EQ can pick up a double kill, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine by just going Drain Punch along with Summit Lash Sword. They're going to Trash Lash. This Flying Terror? Where did Time Terror you got going? So they got Flying Terror, terror cooking. And I believe this is Choice Scarf. If it's not, we actually might lose this match. Let's see. Okay, never mind. We're still outspeeding. Beautiful. Lovely. Perfect. Andy Palm getting work done in today's video. Uses it in match number two and in match number three. And this thing was just dominant. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 3-0 perfect record rocking out with Andy Pom today. This team was phenomenal. I absolutely loved it and everything about it. We had the Ogre Pond on it. We also had Clef Klee, who we used in match number one, which was perfect for the screens. And Okie Doki with this moveset was top tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.